Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome back, or welcome to, sorry, another Friday, I think, this is going up, which means it's time for Promised Neverland, like I said in that vlog that went up on the Thursday, I think. Oh, boy, so, this anime is something that people have been saying, like, oh no, you gotta watch this, it's gonna be good, and I, and seeing as I wanna get, like, the anime everyday thing going, I figured this would be one to start on, especially because it's only three episodes in at the time of recording, which means that it should be fairly easy for me to catch up and become current. Yay! So, from what I'm aware, this anime is about an orphanage where everyone gets adopted. Yay! But they get adopted by monsters that want to eat them. Oh boy, and our protagonists have to escape the orphanage or stop themselves from getting eaten or something similar. I'm not 100% sure... Like, what the goal is here. But, I mean, it seems like it's pretty interesting. Like, I've, I've got some... I'm subscribed to a couple of other reactors on the on this platform. Um, and they've been... And they're doing it. Uh, I haven't watched any of their videos yet. Because I try not to watch or react of a video that I'm not myself doing. But it looks like a good chunk of them. Like, Otaku Saga is, is the one I noticed. That they've... They posted, like, well, like, three fucking video, videos about this, like, in, in a day. So, I mean, if they... I mean, if they're hype about it, then all right. Okay then, I'll trust that, because hey, they've usually got pretty good taste. I like them boys. I like them Duke boys. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see if this is a good show, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Oh, is this a... Neat. Neat, an opening. Oh wait, no, that's not an opening. That's... Is that just like a... The, the company logo they put at the start? Why is, why, why is the mouth so high on that kid's face? Oh no, he's got the edge lo- Why is his face so squished? Why is his face squished? The other kid's, uh, the other kid's got a massive forehead. Trust me, I know, my forehead is massive. But all the rest of the kids, all their faces, just like someone took their face in Photoshop and just went- the fuck? It's protecting you from going to- from going into a bad anime. Gates always lead to bad anime. That's not talking about this anime, it's talking about THE anime. The one that inspired the term gateposting. So these kids are younger than I thought they'd be. I, I I expected something it'd be like we'd have like teenagers or something, but no, we've got like little wee babby kiddos. I still can't get over their faces. Like they don't look that bad here. They don't look that bad here, but actually no, they look older. So maybe we're gonna get a time skip. They they look way older here. Like. You know that thing, like, in real life where you see someone and, like, it looks like their mouth is too high on their head? Like... Was that a mammy? Was that a mammy? Holy shit. Nice to see the 1950s never died. Holy shit. Wait, is that a girl? Wait, 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 was little blonde hair squishy face a girl? Or have we got another trap coming in? Tactical trap incoming. I like how they've got holocaust tattoos but on their necks. Putting it on their arms, that'd be a little too on the nose. So... Oh boy, are we gonna have another fucking concentration camp allegory? Am I, go am I going to have to defend... Defend myself from people that think they know more about World War II than me? What's... like... What's with their faces? For real, their faces look weird! The small ones more than that, more than anything else. Okay, well, it looks like we had a little bit of a time skip then, because they, they look like they're, they're older than they were. 
And the fucking little potato faces are on the small little babbies. The faces here creep me the fuck out. I'm gonna have, that's gonna take like a second to get used to. Like, am I am I just too used to shows that take themselves seriously and don't put fucking moe blobs in their in their shit? Everyone in this show except emo m m haircut over there is a fucking blob of moe. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Yes, I love that part. It's delicious. Nom 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 All that care makes the meat tender. We'll 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 braise you and have all the kindness juice into a into a trough and baste you in it. She is a monster, right? Like, those eyes... Those eyes, like, they... Like, everyone else has a normal eye color. But that mo- like, that, that, those are some bright-ass purple eyes, and the camera draws attention to them. Which makes me think, it's like, hey, pay attention to these eyes! She's gonna turn into a fuck beast later on. Nani? What is- what has happened? What- what is- What the f- they were just scanning barcodes. Congratulations, you're all delicious! It's almost as if they're protagonists! But how does her athletics- I mean, I guess if she's athletic, I guess she's fast- I guess she's fast on the scanner, right? I do like how they're all they they're all on, only got pajamas. I d is it wrong that I wish the pajamas were striped? I wish the pajamas were striped just because I want the allegory to be nailed in harder. What what's where are you hiding from? That guy's eyes are fucking crazy. Like everyone just whipped around like Jesus. He's dead. That guy's dead. If anyone dies, that guy's dying first. Anyone who's like, don't worry, I'll always be here to help you in need, he's gonna get fucking got in the worst way possible. And that little girl's gonna watch him bleed to death. Y yeah, no. Fucking a death note, a death note clock just appeared over his fucking head. Like, like, fucking his name has been written into the note. Almost like Emma's the athletic one. That can run so fast. What is this? What is that run? What is- what was that run? What, what was- what was this? Like... Like, you're playing tag, not going off to see the wizard, you fucking bitch. That's a big clock. Oh, it's... 
That's a really interesting effect. I like that. Just superimposed over the back, in between the background and the characters. I like that. That's actually a really neato effect. I like that a bunch. Oh, I can't believe Norman's fucking dead. It's... And tagged. Norman is secretly the big betrayer. His eyes will turn purple. He was wearing contacts the whole time. Uh, that was a joke. That was a joke. But you see, Norman knows the secret Joestar bloodline technique. Cheating. No, it's tag. No, you win tag by running. And making sure the other guy- when the other guy eats shit, you keep running so he can't find you. I like how they're listing out everybody's strengths and weaknesses at the start, so when every- when shit starts popping off and everyone dies... Like, we're gonna know exactly how it's gonna happen. Emma's gonna get tricked by being so nice. Like I'm wait I'm I'm waiting for that. Like that that black guy is gonna get fucking murped right in front of that bunny girl. I'll always be here to protect you. Oh, there appears to be a spear sticking through my chest. Shit. Oh, we got we at the gate. We at the gate, we're gonna see Rory Mercury on the other side. Gonna see the Japanese military fucking blowing away defenseless orcs. Oh, hi, Norman. How you doing, friend? Her mouth is still way too high up on her head. Like, for real. Like, it's, it's, it's less pronounced than when she was smaller, but... And he's still got a massive fucking forehead. Like... Is it just an- is it just an art style thing, or what? Like... Like, for real, I just can't get used to it, it just looks so weird! It's like an overlord, with Albedo having the giant mouth. You might trip and hurt yourself. Not like me, I hate my mom! Like, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. I'm hoping the shoe drops in this episode, because oh boy. Twelve, huh? Well, you're orphans, dum-dum. Does it? Does it? Does it not ring weird to anyone at the, anyone there that being adopted at the age of twelve is is weird? Happy twelfth birthday! I found parents for you. Like. Is no one find that weird that just at this day you turn 12, someone's just like, oh yeah, no, here you go. Unless I misread that subtitle. I want to find someone to cure my horrible forehead gigantism. Once I get it, once I get outside. I'm gonna find a way to reintroduce myself into society. He's not even there as an orphan, he's there because he went- he did crimes. Ooh. Ooh. Like, knowing- like, the fact that the fucking- the- the synopsis of the anime gives the- gives that- the small twist away. 
like, oh boy, people gonna people gonna fucking die. People gonna die. That little that little girl right there, she gonna die, probably. Excellent. I'll use this as a napkin. Oh no, she just- Oh, okay, so it's not at age of 12. Okay, I did misread it. I did misread it. Okay, it's just- Just before age 12. Anytime before age 12. So, uh, I guess I was right. She's fucking dead. <laughs> fucking ripperoni, kiddo. It's the, I call it the dinner bell. So, uh, I guess prediction happened? Oh no, she left the bunny behind. Oh no. Hey, but wasn't she holding that when she left? So this is how they discover, this is how they find out. Connie gets fucking et. Oh no. Like, this is how they find out. They find out by seeing Connie get her fucking head bit off by a monster. No, go in. Go in, I want to see what the monster looks like. Give me the monster. I want to see, I want to see the monster. I want to see the, I want to see the bodies going through the water. I do like that kind of like a military, yeah, this whole thing is just one big fucking, one big holocaust reference, is what it feels like. Or maybe it's just because I know, I like, I'm big tuned, big tuned to World War II. Like, it does, that's just me getting in there, but that's drool, isn't it? That's drool. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I was hoping it was drool and there's just a monster hiding on the roof. I just need- I want to see the monsters. Check. Come on. Come on. I want- I want to see- I want to see this fucking little girl's head come off. I want to see. I want to see. No, don't you fucking blue ball me like this, Emma, I swear to God. Don't you fucking blue ball me like this, Emma, I, I, I need to see. I need to know. Come on. Yeah, yeah! What the fuck? What the f what the fuck's the, f the fucking rose in the heart? What's with the rose in the heart? What the fuck's that for? I th I thought the premise was they got et. Was they got they got they got fucking eaten? Just num 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 num. Come on, what did they look like? Show me! Yes! Yes! Oh, that's good! Oh, that's a good ass monster design! Oof. 
Oh, that's a fucking... So that's why they need to get out, because they're next on the list! That's a good-ass fucking monster design. I was hoping for something good. And that's a good-ass monster design. Holy shit. Wow, those... For having so many eyes, those guys are fucking blind. Those monsters are fucking blind. That like they ran down a goddamn hallway for fuck's sake. Y'all are fucking de so. The denial is strong with this one. The denial's fucking strong with this one. Holy shit. Fucking, uh, this is awful, but at the same time, I'm like, all right, this is a good ass premise with good ass monster designs. Oh, come on, you can't just, no, you, you can't just do that. Oh, her, that was, okay. That was her name. I am bad at reading handwriting. I am bad at reading handwriting. Holy shit. I thought that said candy for some reason. Oh my god, is this great escape? Is this the great escape? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Who's Steve McQueen? Who's Steve McQueen? Who's gonna have the motorcycle? Get the tunnel. We'll defeat them with the power of friendship and this gun I found. Uh. I mean, I guess that's an explanation for how they made fucking tag into Stratego. Oh, but also, uh, she said they've never beaten Mother at chess. Oh, that I thought that was kind of a weird line, but yeah. They know. Mother knows. Mother took that bunny away from her because she knew she was going to give it to someone else. Oh, fuck me, that's good. That's good. Okay. 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 I'll let this fucking run. See if there's any like next time on Dragon Ball Z going on there. If it's an actual like end of end of thing. Okay. So, Promise Neverland. Like, am I am I alone? And also, I just realized she removed Connie's drawings. Remove all. Remove all traces of those that have gone. So that once the current stock of people are gone, and or the younger ones start growing up, they'll forget Connie even existed. Connie won't even click in their mind. Oh, okay, all right. So first off, called it, didn't I? I called it, didn't I? I was like, that, like, Connie's gonna fucking die. Connie is is deader than dead, 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 dead. Um, I still think that black guy is gonna figure it out, and he's gonna do something stupid because he promised to protect her, and he's gonna do something stupid. He's gonna get himself killed. And just, that's going to be up, that's going to be, that's going to be, ooh, that's going to be a big oof. Um, oh, geez, like, this entire thing rings through to me as a, as a, um, Holocaust allegory. And I'm hoping I'm not the only person. I mean, they're trapped, they're, they're trapped in a, in a, oh boy, so they're, they're trapped there. Yeah, they've got the they've got the number tattoos. They've got um like they're being systematically exterminated. Like only difference being is that they didn't know, but at the same time when the Jews first got all rounded up, they didn't know either. It it 
it took it took a minute for for it to kick in and be like, oh, oh, oh no, because that kind of uh, extermination camp had only ever been done at one other t point in history, and it was done in Cuba. And who fucking like is Cuba? Is Cuba like no news from there isn't exactly gonna reach the masses in fucking the early twentieth century, is it? Especially when it happened in the eighteen hundreds. Um. And the same thing here, just like this thing, they got the pajamas, they got the number, they got the numbers, they got the, um, they just fucking, they got like the, the, the industrialization of it almost. It's like, and it also like, there's also, like, I feel like there's like a, I mean, there's obviously the slaughterhouse thing, so it kind of feels like a mix between those two allegories, like if a slaughterhouse with, with animals, like pigs and shit, and... And the whole, like, if anything, it seems more actually a little bit like The Great Escape, actually. Now I think about it, which itself is a movie about the Holocaust, except it follows, um, prisoners of war. So, if anything, it's actually kind of like, hol like, like the Holocaust, Holocaust allegory by way of Great Escape, but with an idea along the lines of Chicken Run, which itself is a parody of Great Escape. Bet you didn't know that. Um, but instead of them being chickens being turned into food by humans, now it's humans being turned into food by monsters. Because the chickens in Chicken Run, they didn't know that they were going to be turned into food. They didn't know that. They thought it was all about eggs. They didn't know. Um, and the same thing here. So it's... It's this really weird thing where I'm just seeing connections to other things. I'm like, ooh, ooh, they're pulling from places I like. They're pulling from places that I that are that are neato. Like, all I need now is to fucking start digging tunnels and just like, oh fuck, okay, right, I'm in, fam. Let's go. Um, the whole idea of those monsters as well. It does make me wonder what the world outside is like. If they even if they escape, even if they escape, are there? Is there a human civilization remaining, even? Like, like, are there even humans in existence? Also, where are they getting these children from? Like, is there a, is there another farm elsewhere where it's just, where it's just, like, women being, like, artificially inseminated and giving birth to kids? Like, and then, like, like what is, how does, how's that going? Like, how are they getting these kids, like, in the first place? What was with the flower through the heart? Like, like, it's, it's, it's really interesting, and there's a lot of cool stuff set up here, and, like, cool imagery, and I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of foreshadowing just being yeeted around, like, so much that, like, I kind of missed some of it at first, like, that mother with the chest thing. It's like, of course, they're, they're gonna have to get her, if they're planning on escaping, they're gonna have to get around the mother, but, and, and Tag is all about strategy, which I guess is kind of tortured right there, because Tag's not really about strategy, it's about outrunning the other guy. Um... And them saying they've never beat Mother before, it, that, that's setting up the challenge of being like, hey, yeah, no, she's gonna be, like, the end boss almost kind of thing. And, and I really like, uh, like, or not end boss, but you know what I mean. Like, she's gonna be the boss of this level. Oh, boy. Um, just, there's just a ton of cool stuff. The monster designs are great. I think the only thing I really have an issue with is the design of the main characters themselves. They are proportionately really fucking weird. Like, why is Norman's head so fucking... forehead so fucking big? Like, why is... Why is Emma's mouth so high up on her face? Like, I mean, the only person that, like, I can look at and be like, yeah, no, that, guy, that guy's face looks all right is the, is the fucking emo haircut. Like, everyone else just, like, as far as, like, the children go, just looks really weird. Like, their faces are deformed in some ways. I, I don't know if it's just the art style or, 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 or what, but... Fucking, I I don't know, dude. I don't I don't fucking know, man. I just I I I don't know, man. I I just really don't. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this. This is gonna be fun going forward. There's not really a, a whole ton of stuff to talk to talk about right now, um, because a lot of this seemed like it was set up and for and just like setting up the main premise and like foreshadowing and and all that good shit. So you've got like uh. You got like that that black guy going like I'll protect you, Connie, and then I'm I'm like okay, one of them is going to die. He is definitely going to die, and Connie is probably going to either see him die or be a thing that makes him die. And I still feel like that bears true, and like it, it, it's it's interesting seeing that. 
Like, like a lot of times shows, modern shows try and hide their foreshadowing and obfuscate it. Like, but here it's just like, hey, here's all these characters we got a fuck ton to deal with. Here's like some prominent ones. Here's what kind of people they're like. Here's their strengths. Here's their weaknesses. And that in your brain go, like, already starts the list in your brain of like, okay, let's take bets. Who's gonna fucking die? The three protagonists, probably safe. Probably safe, because they didn't really have any glaring weaknesses. Because they're the smartest, they're the smartest, the fastest, and the best tactically, right? Like, the best creatively, I guess you'd say. So you got, you got, you got muscles, brains, and imagination on the three main characters. Like, they, they, that's, that's what they come together to make. And they didn't really have any weaknesses, except Emma's is being too nice, which is the kind of weakness you put on a resume to fucking... Like, make yourself sound better. It's a weakness, it's not really a weakness. And the other two didn't really have any. Like, I guess, like, Norman's is that he's not as fast as Emma, but Emma's already set up to be, like, the fucking ubermensch when it comes to fucking, um... When it comes to, like, athleticism and all that. So, like, that's hardly a fucking weakness. Um... But, fucking, yeah, like... I can't wait. That's, that's, that's good, that's... That's a good fucking setup right there. That's a good fucking setup for an anime, that is. But let's see. Uh, but I can't wait. So uh, let me know what you think down there in the comments. Whether you agree with me on stuff and you think, oh, this is going to be a fucking good show. Um, you disagree with me and you're like, actually, Naz, you missed these things and this and this and this. You're a piece of shit. Or you uh, want to bring up something I omitted because I do that sometimes because I do try and keep these from going over 40 minutes. And I know we're at 30 right now, but. Yeah, I feel like now here here's a good good place to cut it off because while we wait for some stuff to come in for the next episode, oh boy! So yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends because that helps a whole bunch. Because YouTube is buying a bunch of poopy dicks because it's a new year, which means they got to change the algorithm again and remove tools that YouTubers use. Yeah, you have no idea how many tools behind the scenes they've removed because they've removed a lot. Yes, it's great. Anyway, everybody, so, yeah, us, as always, I am Nozvix, I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I'll see you a round the room.